In this video, we're going to take a look at Google Classroom assignments, both from the teacher's perspective and from a student's perspective. So I'm logged in as a teacher now, and I am on in one of my classrooms, and you can see I've got some different assignments uh, assigned here. And you can see that it does a really nice job of telling you how many students are done and how many students are not done. So if we want to go ahead and take a look at this particular assignment, you'll see now that you have a visual display of each student's assignment. We can see that Sue has already done her assignment and I have actually returned that assignment to Stu, whereas Joe has yet to do the assignment. If we go back to the classroom page um, and take a look at this particular assignment, um, when I generated this assignment, I gave my students some very specific directions. So I'm having them do the textbook, page 41, number 44. And in order to complete this problem, I have instructed them to create a sheet using the Add option and generate two charts to answer the problem. You can see that neither students are done with this assignment. I'm going to show you this assignment then from a student's perspective. Now I've pulled up the same class in the same assignment from a student. So I'm logged in as Sue student now. And here is the student's perspective of this particular assignment. The student can either click the link or click open. And notice the directions that you gave them, that the teacher gave in this particular assignment. Create a sheet using the add option and generate two charts to answer the problem. So they're working this problem out of the textbook, but you've told them specifically to create the sheet using the add option. So you can see here, here is the add option. And if we click on that, this allows the student to add a multiple of file types to this particular assignment. Now it is possible that they could go out to Google Drive, create a sheet, and attach it in this way, because you can see you have the Google Drive option. However, if you give them an assignment like this and you want them to create a Google Doc, a slide, a sheet, or a drawing, have them go to the Add option and choose the type of document that you want them to create. In this case, we wanted them to create a sheet. So I'm going to select Sheet. And it's going to take just a minute, and we'll see what happens here. Notice what's happened. It's created a sheet for that student. It's kept the title of the assignment the same, but it's added the student's name after the title. So it's easily to identify which student's paper is which if they use the add option and create a document this way. So Sue can then go ahead and click on that to open up that document. Again, here is the spreadsheet that she will work on. It's already named for her and um, uh, it, it, it tells her what she needs to do. So we're just going to go ahead and put in some numbers here. Okay, and we're going to do our little chart. So we're going to insert and chart. And obviously, um, the student would do a much better job of creating this chart, but here is the chart for this particular assignment. Okay, so Sue is done with this assignment. Remember, because it's in Google, it automatically saves. Sue's going to go back to classroom, and she is now ready to turn in this assignment. So she's going to click Turn In. Here it um, again, you're turning in your work. Are you sure that's what you're turning in? Go ahead and turn that in. Once Sue turns in that document, she then loses the edit rights to the document. So if we switch back over to this document, you'll see access is denied because once the student turns in a document in Google Classroom, they lose the ability to edit that document until the teacher returns it to them. I have switched back over to a teacher account, and here is the assignment that Sue was just working on, and we can see that one student is done with that assignment. If we go ahead and enter that assignment, here again we can see which students are done and which students are not done. We can see here that Sue is done with the assignment. So as a teacher, I can come in here and click on Sue's document and open that. I can see the chart that she created, and I can uh, grade that. I can use the comment feature to make any comments that I might want to give Sue on this particular assignment. Um, when I'm done, then I can uh, choose to do a number of different things. Um, I can change the point total. So if I want to make this worth a, this is a 10 point assignment, I can choose to do that. And I can give Sue a grade. She got 10 points. And notice it automatically checks Sue's box. And I can go ahead and return that to Sue. Once I return the document to Sue, then Sue regains full edit rights and control of that document. So we'll go ahead and hit return. I've gone back over to Sue's account, and now I can see that the assignment has been graded, 10 points out of 10. I can see that the assignment has been returned. If for any reason that student needed to make changes to it, they can actually resubmit the assignment to be graded again. 
That is a brief overview of the assignment feature from both the teacher perspective and the student perspective in Google Classroom.